This day in history 11th of February. Whitney Houston, born August 9, 1963, in Newark, New Jersey, U.S., died February 11, 2012, in Beverly Hills, California, was an American singer and actress who was one of the best-selling musical performers of the 1980s and 90s. Nicknamed The Voice, she is regarded as one of the greatest singers in the history of music. Houston is one of the best-selling music artists of all time, with over 220 million records sold worldwide. She influenced many singers in the recording industry and was known for her powerful, soulful vocals, vocal improvisation skills, use of gospel singing techniques in pop music, and live performances. Houston had 11 number one singles on the Billboard Hot 100 and is the only artist to have seven consecutive number one singles on the chart. Her accolades include six Grammy Awards, 16 Billboard Music Awards, two Emmy Awards, and 30 Guinness World Records. Houston's inductions include the Grammy Hall of Fame, twice, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, the Rhythm and Blues Music Hall of Fame, the Georgia Music Hall of Fame, the New Jersey Hall of Fame, and the National Recording Registry at the Library of Congress. Houston began singing at New Hope Baptist Church in Newark, New Jersey, as a child and became a background vocalist while in high school. She was one of the first black women to appear on the cover of Seventeen after becoming a teen model in 1981, with the guidance of Arista Records chairman Clive Davis. Houston signed to the label at age 19. Her first two studio albums, Whitney Houston, 1985, and Whitney, 1987, both peaked at number one on the Billboard 200 and are among the best-selling albums of all time. Hit singles from the albums, including How Will I Know, Greatest Love of All, and I Want to Dance with Somebody Who Loves Me, established her as a catalyst in the acceptance of black female artists on MTV. Her third studio album, I'm Your Baby Tonight, 1990, yielded two Billboard Hot 100 number one singles. This Day in History 11th of February This Day in History 11th of February Thomas Edison, born February 11, 1847, Milan, Ohio, U.S., died October 18, 1931, West Orange, New Jersey, American inventor who, singly or jointly, held a world record 1,093 patents. In addition, he created the world's first industrial research laboratory. He developed many devices in fields such as electric power generation, mass communication, sound recording, and motion pictures. These inventions, which include the phonograph, the motion picture camera, and early versions of the electric light bulb, have had a widespread impact on the modern industrialized world. He was one of the first inventors to apply the principles of organized science and teamwork to the process of invention, working with many researchers and employees. He established the first industrial research laboratory. Edison was raised in the American Midwest. Early in his career, he worked as a telegraph operator, which inspired some of his earliest inventions. In 1876, he established his first laboratory facility in Menlo Park, New Jersey, where many of his early inventions were developed. He later established a botanical laboratory in Fort Myers, Florida, in collaboration with businessmen Henry Ford and Harvey S. Firestone, and a laboratory in West Orange, New Jersey, that featured the world's first film studio, the Black Maria. With 1,093 U.S. patents in his name, as well as patents in other countries, Edison is regarded as the most prolific inventor in American history. Edison married twice and fathered six children. He died in 1931 due to complications from diabetes. This day in history 11th of February. This day in history 12th of February. Charles Robert Darwin, born February 12, 1809, Shrewsbury, Shropshire, England, died April 19, 1882, in Down. Kent, English naturalist, English naturalist, geologist, and biologist, widely known for his contributions to evolutionary biology. His proposition that all species of life have descended from a common ancestor is now generally accepted and considered a fundamental concept in science. In a joint publication with Alfred Russell Wallace, 
he introduced his scientific theory that this branching pattern of evolution resulted from a process he called natural selection, in which the struggle for existence has a similar effect to the artificial selection involved in selective breeding. Darwin has been described as one of the most influential figures in human history and was honored by burial in Westminster Abbey. Darwin's early interest in nature led him to neglect his medical education at the University of Edinburgh. Instead, he helped to investigate marine invertebrates. His studies at the University of Cambridge's Christ College from 1828 to 1831 encouraged his passion for natural science. His five-year voyage on HMS Beagle from 1831 to 1836 established Darwin as an eminent geologist, whose observations and theories supported Charles Lyell's concept of gradual geological change. Publication of his journal of the voyage made Darwin famous as a popular author. Puzzled by the geographical distribution of wildlife and fossils he collected on the voyage, Darwin began detailed investigations and, in 1838, devised his theory of natural selection. Although he discussed his ideas with several naturalists, he needed time for extensive research, and his geological work had priority. He was writing up his theory in 1858, when Alfred Russell Wallace sent him an essay that described the same idea, prompting the immediate joint submission of both their theories to the Linnean Society of London. This Day in History 12th of February this day in history 12th of February. Lady Jane Grey, born October 1537, Bradgate, Leicestershire, England, died February 12, 1554, London, was the titular Queen of England for nine days in 1553. Jane was the great-granddaughter of Henry VII through his daughter, Mary Tudor, and was, therefore, a grandniece of Henry VIII, and a first cousin once removed of Edward VI, Mary I, and Elizabeth I. She had an excellent humanist education and a reputation as one of the most learned young women of her day. In May 1553, she married Lord Guilford Dudley, a younger son of Edward's chief minister John Dudley, Duke of Northumberland. In June 1553, the dying Edward VI wrote his will, nominating Jane and her male heirs as successors to the crown, in part because his half-sister Mary was Catholic. While Jane was a committed Protestant and would support the Reformed Church of England, whose foundation Edward laid, the will removed his half-sisters, Mary and Elizabeth, from the line of succession on account of their illegitimacy, subverting their claims under the Third Succession Act. After Edward's death, Jane was proclaimed queen on July 10, 1553 and awaited coronation in the Tower of London. Support for Mary grew quickly and most of Jane's supporters abandoned her. The Privy Council of England suddenly changed sides, and proclaimed Mary as Queen on July 19, 1553, deposing Jane. Her primary supporter, her father-in-law, the Duke of Northumberland, was accused of treason and executed less than a month later. Jane was held prisoner in the Tower and was convicted of high treason in November 1553, which carried a sentence of death. Mary initially spared her life. However, Jane soon became viewed as a threat to the crown when her father, Henry Grey, 1st Duke of Suffolk, became involved with Wyatt's rebellion against Queen Mary's intention to marry Philip of Spain. Jane and her husband were executed on February 12, 1554. This day in history 12th of February. This day in history 13th of February. Wilhelm Richard Wagner. Born May 22, 1813, died. February 13, 1883, was a German composer, theater director, and conductor, who is chiefly known for his operas, or, as some of his mature works were later known, music dramas. Unlike most opera composers, Wagner wrote both the libretto and the music for each of his stage works. Initially establishing his reputation as a composer of works in the romantic vein of Carl Maria von Weber and Giacomo Meyerbeer, Wagner revolutionized opera through his concept of the Gesamtkunstwerk, total work of art, by which he sought to synthesize the poetic, visual, musical, and dramatic arts, with music subsidiary to drama. He described this vision in a series of essays published between 1849 and 1852. Wagner realized these ideas most fully in the first half of the four-opera cycle Der Ring de Nibelungen, 
the ring of the Nibelum. His compositions, particularly those of his later period, are notable for their complex textures, rich harmonies and orchestration, and the elaborate use of light motifs, musical phrases associated with individual characters, places, ideas, or plot elements. His advances in musical languages, such as extreme chromaticism and quickly shifting tonal centers, greatly influenced the development of classical music. His Tristan Uendi Isolde is sometimes described as marking the start of modern music. Wagner had his own opera house built, the Bayreuth Fest Spielhaus, which embodied many novel design features. The Ring and Parsifal were premiered here and his most important stage works continued to be performed at the annual Bayreuth Festival, which was galvanized by the efforts of his wife Cosima Wagner and the family's descendants. His thoughts on the relative contributions of music and drama in opera were to change again, and he reintroduced some traditional forms into his last few stage works, including Die Meistersinger von Nuremberg, the master singers of Nuremberg. Until his final years, Wagner's life was characterized by political exile, turbulent love affairs, poverty, and repeated flight from his creditors. This Day in History 13th of February this day in history 13th of February. Peter Gabriel, born February 13, 1950, in Woking, Surrey, England, British musician who was the lead singer of the progressive rock band Genesis. After leaving Genesis in 1975, he launched a successful solo career with Salisbury Hill as his first single. His fifth studio album, So, 1986, is his best-selling release and is certified triple platinum in the UK and five times platinum in the US. The album's most successful single, Sledgehammer, won a record nine MTV awards at the 1987 MTV Video Music Awards and, according to a report in 2011, it was MTV's most played music video of all time. Gabriel has won three Brit Awards, winning Best British Male in 1987, six Grammy Awards, 13 MTV Video Music Awards, the first Pioneer Award at the BT Digital Music Awards, the Q Magazine Lifetime Achievement, the Ivor Novello Award for Lifetime Achievement, and the Polar Music Prize. He was made a BMI icon at the 57th Annual BMI London Awards for his influence on generations of music makers. In recognition of his many years of human rights activism, he received the Man of Peace Award from the Nobel Peace Prize laureates in 2006, and Time magazine named him one of the 100 most influential people in the world. He was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a member of Genesis in 2010 and as a solo artist in 2014. In March 2015, he was awarded an honorary doctorate from the University of South Australia in recognition of his achievements in music. This day in history 13th of February. This day in history 14th of February. James Cook, born October 27, 1728, Martin in Cleveland, Yorkshire, England, died February 14, 1779, Keala Kekua Bay, Hawaii, British naval captain, navigator, and explorer. Famous for his three voyages between 1768 and 1779 in the Pacific Ocean, and to New Zealand and Australia in particular. He made detailed maps of Newfoundland prior to making three voyages to the Pacific, during which he achieved the first recorded European contact with the eastern coastline of Australia and the Hawaiian Islands and the first recorded circumnavigation of New Zealand. Cook joined the British Merchant Navy as a teenager and joined the Royal Navy in 1755. He saw action in the Seven Years' War and subsequently surveyed and mapped much of the entrance to the St. Lawrence River during the Siege of Quebec, which brought him to the attention of the Admiralty and the Royal Society. This acclaim came at a crucial moment for the direction of British overseas exploration, and it led to his commission in 1768 as commander of HMS Endeavour for the first of three Pacific voyages. In these voyages, Cook sailed thousands of miles across largely uncharted areas of the globe. He mapped lands from New Zealand to Hawaii in the Pacific Ocean in greater detail, and on a scale not previously charted by Western explorers. He surveyed and named features, and recorded islands and coastlines on European maps for the first time. He displayed a combination of seamanship, superior surveying, and cartographic skills, physical courage, 
and an ability to lead men in adverse conditions. In 1779, during Cook's third exploratory voyage in the Pacific, tensions escalated between his men and the natives of Hawaii, and an attempt to kidnap Chief Kalanipa led to the death of Cook. There is controversy over Cook's role as an enabler of British colonialism and the violence associated with some of his contacts with indigenous peoples. He left a legacy of scientific and geographical knowledge that influenced his successors well into the 20th century, and numerous memorials worldwide have been dedicated to him. This Day in History 14th of February This Day in History 14th of February Valentine's Day also called St. Valentine's Day or the Feast of St. Valentine, is celebrated annually on February 14. It originated as a Christian feast day honoring a martyr named Valentine and through later folk traditions, it has also become a significant cultural, religious, and commercial celebration of romance and love in many regions of the world. There are several martyrdom stories associated with various St. Valentines connected to February 14 including an account of the imprisonment of St. Valentine of Rome for ministering to Christians persecuted under the Roman Empire in the 3rd century. According to an early tradition, St. Valentine restored sight to the blind daughter of his jailer. Numerous later additions to the legend have better related it to the theme of love. Tradition maintains that St. Valentine performed weddings for Christian soldiers who were forbidden to marry by the Roman Emperor. An 18th century embellishment to the legend claims he wrote the jailer's daughter a letter signed, Your Valentine, as a farewell before his execution. The 8th century Gelasian Sacramentary recorded the celebration of the Feast of St. Valentine on February 14. The day became associated with romantic love in the 14th and 15th centuries when notions of courtly love flourished, apparently by association with the lovebirds of early spring. In 18th century England, it grew into an occasion for couples to express their love for each other by presenting flowers, offering confectionery, and sending greeting cards, known as Valentines. Valentine's Day symbols that are used today include the heart-shaped outline, doves, and the figure of the winged cupid. In the 19th century, handmade cards gave way to mass-produced greetings. In Italy, St. Valentine's keys are given to lovers as a romantic symbol and an invitation to unlock the giver's heart, as well as to children to ward off epilepsy, called St. Valentine's Malady. This Day in History 14th of February This Day in History 15th of February Galileo, born February 15th, 1564, Pisa, Italy, died January 8th, 1642, Arsatri, near Florence, Italian natural philosopher, astronomer. Galileo was an Italian astronomer, physicist, and engineer, sometimes described as a polymath. He was born in the city of Pisa, then part of the Duchy of Florence. Galileo has been called the father of observational astronomy, modern era classical physics, the scientific method, and modern science. Galileo studied speed and velocity, gravity and free fall, the principle of relativity, inertia, and projectile motion and also worked in applied science and technology, describing the properties of the pendulum and hydrostatic balances. He was one of the earliest Renaissance developers of the thermoscope, and the inventor of various military compasses, and used the telescope for scientific observations of celestial objects. With an improved telescope he built, he observed the stars of the Milky Way, the phases of Venus, the four largest satellites of Jupiter, Saturn's rings, lunar craters, and sunspots. He also built an early microscope. Galileo's championing of Copernican heliocentrism, Earth rotating daily and revolving around the sun, was met with opposition from within the Catholic Church and from some astronomers. The matter was investigated by the Roman Inquisition in 1615, which concluded that heliocentrism was foolish, absurd, and heretical since it contradicted biblical creationism. Galileo later defended his views in dialogue concerning the two chief world systems, 1632, which appeared to attack Pope Urban VIII, and thus alienated both the Pope and the Jesuits, who had both supported Galileo up until this point. He was tried by the Inquisition, found vehemently suspect of heresy, and forced to recant. He spent the rest of his life under house arrest. During this time, 
he wrote two new sciences, 1638, primarily concerning kinematics and the strength of materials, summarizing work he had done around 40 years earlier. This day in history 15th of February. This day in history 15th of February. Alfred North Whitehead, born February 15, 1861, Ramsgate, Isle of Thanet, Kent, England, died December 30, 1947, was an English mathematician and philosopher. He created the philosophical school known as Process Philosophy, which has been applied in a wide variety of disciplines, including ecology, theology, education, physics, biology, economics, and psychology. In his early career, Whitehead wrote primarily on mathematics, logic, and physics. He wrote the three-volume Principia Mathematica, 1910-1913, with his former student Bertrand Russell. Principia Mathematica is considered one of the 20th century's most important works in mathematical logic and placed 23rd in a list of the top 100 English-language nonfiction books of the 20th century by Modern Library. Beginning in the late 1910s and early 1920s, Whitehead gradually turned his attention from mathematics to the philosophy of science, and finally to metaphysics. He developed a comprehensive metaphysical system that radically departed from most of Western philosophy. Whitehead argued that reality consists of processes rather than material objects, and that processes are best defined by their relations with other processes thus rejecting the theory that reality is fundamentally constructed by bits of matter that exist independently of one another. Whitehead's philosophical works, particularly process and reality, are regarded as the foundational texts of process philosophy. Whitehead's process philosophy argues that there is urgency in coming to see the world as a web of interrelated processes of which we are integral parts so that all of our choices and actions have consequences for the world around us. For this reason, one of the most promising applications of Whitehead's thought in recent years has been in the area of ecological civilization and environmental ethics pioneered by John B. Cobb. This Day in History 15th of February This Day in History 16th of February John McEnroe, born February 16, 1959, in Diesbaden, West Germany, now in Germany, American tennis player. He was known for his shot-making and volleying skills, his rivalries with Bjorn Borg and Jimmy Connors, and his confrontational on-court behavior, which frequently landed him in trouble with umpires and the tennis authorities. McEnroe is the only male player since the inception of the ADP rankings in 1973 to simultaneously hold the world number one rankings in both singles and doubles. McEnroe finished his career with 77 singles titles on the ADP Tour and 78 doubles titles. This remains the highest men's combined total of the Open era. He is the only male player to win more than 70 titles in both singles and doubles. This tally includes seven major singles titles, four at the U.S. Open and three at Wimbledon, nine Grand Slam men's doubles titles, five at Wimbledon and four at the U.S. Open, and one Grand Slam mixed doubles title at the French Open. McEnroe also excelled at the year-end tournaments, winning eight singles and seven doubles titles, both of which are records. Three of his winning singles year-end championships were at the Masters Grand Prix, the ADP year-end event, and five were at the World Championship Tennis, WCT, finals, an event that ended in 1989. He was named the ADP Player of the Year and the ITF World Champion three times each, in 1981. 1983 and 1984. McEnroe contributed to five Davis Cup titles for the U.S. and later was team captain. He has stayed active in retirement, often competing in senior events on the ADP Champions Tour, where he has won 25 titles. He also works as a television commentator during the majors. This day in history 16th of February. This day in history 17th of February. Michael Jeffrey Jordan, born February 17, 1963, Brooklyn, New York, U.S. American collegiate and professional basketball player. He played 15 seasons in the National Basketball Association, NBA, between 1984 and 2003, winning six NBA championships with the Chicago Bulls. He was integral in popularizing basketball and the NBA around the world in the 1980s and 1990s becoming a global cultural icon. 
His profile on the NBA website states that by acclamation, Michael Jordan is the greatest basketball player of all time. Jordan played college basketball for three seasons under coach Dean Smith with the North Carolina Tar Heels. As a freshman, he was a member of the Tar Heels national championship team in 1982. Jordan joined the Bulls in 1984 as the third overall draft pick and quickly emerged as a league star entertaining crowds with his prolific scoring while gaining a reputation as one of the game's best defensive players. His leaping ability, demonstrated by performing slam dunks from the free-throw line in slam dunk contests, earned him the nicknames Air Jordan and His Airness. Jordan won his first NBA title with the Bulls in 1991 and followed that achievement with titles in 1992 and 1993, securing a three-peat. Jordan abruptly retired from basketball before the 1993-94 NBA season to play minor league baseball but returned to the Bulls in March 1995 and led them to three more championships in 1996, 1997, and 1998, as well as a then-record 72 regular season wins in the 1995-96 NBA season. He retired for the second time in January 1999 returning for two more NBA seasons from 2001 to 2003 as a member of the Washington Wizards. During his professional career, he was selected to play for the United States national team, winning four gold medals, at the 1983 Pan American Games, 1984 Summer Olympics, 1992 Tournament of the Americas, and 1992 Summer Olympics, while also being undefeated. Jordan's individual accolades and accomplishments include six NBA Finals Most Valuable Player, MVP, awards, 10 NBA scoring titles, both all-time records, 14 NBA All-Star Game selections, 3 NBA All-Star Game MVP awards, 3 NBA Steals titles, and the 1988 NBA Defensive Player of the Year award. He holds the NBA records for career regular season scoring average, 30.1 points per game, and career playoff scoring average, 33.4 points per game. In 1999, he was named the 20th century's greatest North American athlete by ESPN and was second to Babe Ruth on the Associated Press list of athletes of the century. This Day in History 17th of February This Day in History 18th of February Martin Luther, born November 10, 1483, Alban, Saxony, now in Saxony-Anhalt, Germany, died February 18, 1546, Alban, German theologian and religious reformer. He was the seminal figure of the Protestant Reformation, and his theological beliefs formed the basis of Lutheranism. Luther was ordained to the priesthood in 1507. He came to reject several teachings and practices of the Roman Catholic Church. In particular, he disputed the view on indulgences. Luther attempted to resolve these differences amicably first proposing an academic discussion of the practice and efficacy of indulgences in 95 Theses, which he authored in 1517. In 1520, Pope Leo X demanded that Luther renounce all of his writings, and when Luther refused to do so, excommunicated him in January 1521. Later that year, Holy Roman Emperor Charles V condemned Luther as an outlaw at the Diet of Worms. When Luther died in 1546, Pope Leo X's excommunication was still in effect. Luther taught that salvation and, consequently, eternal life are not earned by good deeds. Rather, they are received only as the gift of God's grace through the believer's faith in Jesus Christ, who is the sole redeemer from sin. Luther's theology challenged the authority and office of the Pope by teaching that the Bible is the only source of divinely revealed knowledge and opposed sacerdotalism by considering all baptized Christians to be a holy priesthood. Those who identify Luther's wider teachings are called Lutherans, though Luther opposed the name, believing that those who profess faith in Christ should be called Christian or Evangelic. Luther's translation of the Bible into German from Latin made the Bible vastly more accessible to the laity, which had a tremendous impact on both the church and German culture. It fostered the development of a standard version of the German language, added several principles to the art of translation and influenced the writing of an English translation, the Tyndale Bible. His hymns influenced the development of singing in Protestant churches. His marriage to Katharina von Bora, 
a former nun, set a model for the practice of clerical marriage, allowing Protestant clergy to marry. In two later works, Luther expressed anti-Judaistic views, calling for the expulsion of Jews and the burning of synagogues. These works also targeted Roman Catholics, Anabaptists, and non-Trinitarian Christians. Based upon his teachings, despite the fact that Luther did not advocate the murdering of Jews, some historians contend that his rhetoric contributed to the development of anti-Semitism in Germany. This Day in History 18th of February This Day in History 18th of February Raman Krishna, born February 18th, 1836, Hooghly, now Hugli, Bengal State, India, died August 16th, 1886, Calcutta, now Kolkata, was a Hindu religious leader. Born Ramankrishna Chaturada was an Indian Hindu mystic, a devotee of the goddess Kali. Ramankrishna, after adhering to various religious practices from the Hindu traditions of Vaishnavism, Tantric Shaktism, and Advaita Vedanta, as well as from Islam and Christianity, proclaimed that various world religions are so many paths to reach one and the same goal thus validating the essential unity of religions. His parable-based teachings espouse the ultimate unity of diverse religions as being a means to enable the realization of the same God. He is regarded by his followers as an avatar or divine incarnation of God. Quotation. I have practiced all religions Hinduism, Islam, Christianity and I have also followed the paths of the different Hindu sections. I have found that it is the same God toward whom all are directing their steps, though along different paths. You must try all beliefs and traverse all the different ways once. Wherever I look, I see men quarreling in the name of religion Hindus, Mohammedans, Brahmos, Vaishnavas, and the rest. But they never reflect that he who is called Krishna is also called Shiva, and bears the name of the primal energy, Jesus, and Allah as well the same Rama with a thousand names. How ridiculous! The substance is one under different names, and everyone is seeking the same substance. Only climate, temperament, and name create differences. Let each man follow his own path. If he sincerely and ardently wishes to know God, peace be unto him. He will surely realize him. Ramankrishna experienced spiritual ecstasies from a young age and started his spiritual journey as a priest at the Dakshinshwar Kali temple built by Rani Rashmoni. Soon the mystical temperament of Ramankrishna gained him widespread acclaim amongst the general public as a guru, attracting to him various religious teachers, social leaders, Bengali elites, and common people alike. Although initially reluctant to consider himself as a guru, he eventually taught his disciples, who later formed the monastic Ramankrishna order. Ramankrishna died due to throat cancer on the night of August 15, 1886. After his demise, his chief disciple Swami Vivekananda popularized his ideas and founded the Ramankrishna order which provides spiritual training for monastics and householder devotees, and the Ramankrishna mission which provides charity, social work, and education. This day in history 18th of February.